Hey everybody, run this 342 here with another Warframe gameplay. And finally, we received our Bard Warframe, known as Octavia. This update is called the Oct Octavia's Anthem. And what can you find in this update? Well, besides the brand new awesome Warframe, there have been some updates, some changes to Limbo, as well as some add-ons, such as an alternate helmet for Wukong, as well as the new frame, Octavia. This also introduces the brand new capture mode, captura mode, which lets you create your own custom thumbnails and or images that you could use. It's a full uh, video picture editor for your Warframe that you could take cool looking pictures of your frame in the actual mission or wherever he, may, he or she may be. Um, we have new weapon customizations available as well and as well as new weapons. Uh, we have for Octavia, her signature weapon, which is called the Tenora, which you probably heard in the beginning of the video here, how it, the noise it made when it was reloading. That is pretty slick. It's only for that weapon, and that weapon is known as her signature rifle. Her, the secondary is called the Pandero, which is a pretty strong pistol. It's a... Uh, all I can say is using it made me, uh, I kind of remembered using the Lex when I was using a weapon like this, but without the recoil. It's a very powerful weapon. It's a lot of fun to use. Uh, I'm not sure how it will be used, you know, if it's used well in the end game, uh, but it is a fun weapon to use and I enjoyed it. It also helps you with mastery rank. So if you're up for leveling weapons to get your mastery rank up, pick this up as well as, as, as if as well if you want to have a little bit of fun and you want your Octavia to look very fashionable for a fashion frame, this set is great because the default color of the weapon is Octavia's color. So it's pretty nice. It also, uh, this patch, well, update, has brought in a new Kavat armor as well as multiple instrument packs for Octavia since you can create your own music. These instrument packs, what they bring are different types of uh, sounds to your creation of your music. Um, so there are about five of them and each have their own theme. One's like electric, one is like bass, drumish, that kind of stuff. But it brings new, um, a new Custom is it brings more customization and, and gives your character a more unique feel if you purchase and make your own theme. So then everyone's beats don't sound the same. These five packs could make that a little bit different, separate everyone from each other in a way. Um, but those five beats are available. You could preview them in the shop before you buy them, so you know how they sound if you're interested in that. But uh, if you want to be able to create music, you will have to unlock Octavia to be able to create your music. And if you're wondering right now, how do you create your own music with Octavia? Click once you're on Octavia in the in the armory or the arsenal. Um, click appearance. In the bottom, you'll see where it says Manaford, something like that. That is where you go and create your own music for her. It's not an upgrade. It's not an equip. It's an appearance. So go to appearance if you want to make your own music for. Octavia, and you'll see it in the bottom right by the exit and pause button. It's right, well, the exit or, you know, the other buttons down there. But that's how you could enter the, uh, her, her man, man the chord where you can create your own music and beats. But yes, let's get back now to the frame. The frame's abilities, they're kind of interesting and they could work in your favor. Even as a low level frame in a mid level mission, you could do pretty well. This is why. Her abilities are as follows. You have Mallet, Resonator, Metronome, and Amp. The one you're going to like a lot is Mallet, which is your first ability. What you do is, it's like a Loki decoy, but your decoy doesn't die. It's just based off timer. You launch it somewhere, it makes an area, of a, it's like a huge area of effect, AoE, that makes loud noises and attracts enemies attention. They'll all go there and they'll be all clustered in there shooting out nothing essentially. And that's your opportunity to kill them all and get your experience. Um, Resonator, what that does is it's drop, it launches a ball on the ground, a roller, just like a Grenier roller, exact same thing. But I haven't seen this explode yet. 
Um, but what it does is it automatically locates your mallet if you put a mallet anywhere in the ground. It'll go to it, pick it up, and then it's literally mounted on it and it runs around. So it's a great way to get enemies away from a certain point. You could use it for, let's see, a reviving an ally. Reviving one of your Warframe partners who's fallen, you, you could use that. It gets the enemy's attention, they, they follow it, and that gives you ample time to revive your fallen ally. Um, the next ability, which is one I don't use that much, but I need to, I'm still you know, in the process of getting used to Octavia, is Metronome. And what this does is it grants you a buff depending on what you do and if you follow the rhythm of the music that's going on. Because Metronome does make your your music that, that you created on your man, mandacord, you know, live. You will hear it. This is also, you need to understand that all your abilities make noises, except for Amp at the moment. Amp just makes everything come together. Mallet makes some music, Resonator makes music, and your Metronome makes music. Now then, Metronome, it says here by the text, it grants a buff to those consistently performing actions in time to Octavia's music. Timed jumps offer a speed buff. Crown Chain grants you invisibility, as in cloaking, you're invisible. And firing the rhythm, rhythm rhythmatically gives you multi-shot buff. That one I have not been able to do, but I, I guess if you just follow the rhythm, when you hear the beats go and you shoot the same time the beats are going, you get a multi-shot buff. I have not played with that. All I've played with is the invisibility. That's all I've done. And then it says timed melee swings give you a damage buff. Okay, so it's good, but I haven't really used that much. I've been using her mostly for her mallet and resonator, as well as amp, which you'll now know what it does here. And, that, and what it does is it draws power from the decibels of decibel level of sounds in the area and uses it to amplify the damage buff for Octavia and her allies. It also doubles damage to ranged and nearby mallets. So mallet does damage while it attracts enemies. I didn't mention that. It attracts enemies and hurts them. Launching an amp in that area increases the damage that they take and also powers you and your allies up. The more noise is in the room, the more powerful it is. So what this means, if you use Mallet, Resonator, and Metronome with Amp, you have max volume. And that will increase your damage. You, you will notice, because you will hear the beat that you created in the game. So that's really cool. This frame is completely unique from any other Warframe that's in there, as you know, for her abilities. And she's a marching band frame. Look at her helmet, straight off a marching band. But that is the new frame and what has come out. The new um, quest line for her has also come out, so do that. By doing that quest, you will get the Octavia Blueprint. You do it and complete it, you will get it. I won't tell you what the quest is, so I won't spoil it. But if you do the quest for her, you will get her Blueprint at the end. Now, to get her parts, that's a different story. To get her parts, you need to find them either by either going to Lua in the moon and find hidden caches on their exterminate missions, by fighting the infested in an Orican dialect survival rotation B, or by completing the organ note puzzle challenges on the moon in Lua. And those, well, it depends if you're good with that or not, but it says here by completing this puzzle, you, you can spawn a loot crate that will contain the Octavia blueprint piece and Octavia blueprint piece. Please note this puzzle does not spawn on Lua mobile defense. So, there you have it. You can get her parts by Orc and Derelict Rotation B, fighting uh, hidden caches in uh, the Moon and Lua, exterminate missions, or by doing the organ puzzle challenges in the Moon Lua. So those are your options to get her. Um, be aware that to do this quest, you have to have completed the second dream to gain access to this. If you have not completed the second dream, you cannot get this Warframe. So please do so if you haven't yet. That's it. I, that's all I have for now. If I missed anything, please let me know in the comments below. I'm Rundus342, and enjoy the new frame, everyone. Catch you later.